Hello and welcome to Scuttlebutt, a program for Navy's people and issues that matter to you. I'm Warrandos of the Navy, Mark Tandy, coming to you this edition from RAAF Base Wagga, home to our Navy School of Aviation Technical Training. Training is vital. How we train depends on who is doing the training. The instructors at the recruit school at HMAS Cerberus are getting some impressive results in preparing members of our new generation Navy. It's early morning at HMAS Cerberus. Navy's latest recruits are being put through their paces. The scenario is based on lending assistance to a community hit by disaster. Leading seaman Cameron Wallace is one of the instructors tasked with turning these civilians into sailors. OK, we're doing URE, uh, which is the final team building exercise for the recruits. Uh, just basically proves to command that they've learnt what is required of them in the last 11 weeks. And uh, yeah, they can put it together on the day. My job here is basically just to supervise and make sure they don't do anything wrong, nothing unsafe. And uh, yeah, it's up to the kids to roll their way through the day. Um, I shouldn't intervene at all if they've learnt the right skills and uh, tools throughout their 10 weeks of training. An 11 by 11 tent is always fun to put up no matter how much you know. It's not so much about which part goes where, but teamwork. Okay, get your team together, let them know exactly what's going on, what way the door's meant to be facing, everything that you need them to know, stop them, get them in a group. Communicating well and regularly is a new generation Navy signature behaviour. It's times like this when it comes in handy. Moving a broken down vehicle is another evolution that will test recruit and instructor alike. Each group that comes through Cerberus presents different challenges. Leading seaman Adrian Martinak is one of those literally driving this evolution. Uh, I've never had the same day yet, even between two classes, same program, same day, it's always different. Uh, people react different to different situations. This situation turned out well. The car moved thanks to some careful guidance and more than a little physical effort. Let's go, run it up, run it up. Let's go, Williamson, run it up. The sandbag challenge provided the instructors with another chance to make sure their recruits were working as a team. Life as an instructor at Cerberus Recruit School can be one of the most rewarding postings in Navy. Each instructor volunteered to be posted here. Those who excel have good judgment and maturity. Training those who come after us is, after all, a massive responsibility. Just seeing them um, coming from coming off the bus um, on day one to graduation day, it's an absolute, you sort of get tingles and you sort of feel fantastic when you see them graduate in front of all their families and things like that, it's great. That's a responsibility leading seaman Rachel Kleinart doesn't take lightly. At the end of the day, these recruits, or when I get out of recruit training, I'm probably going to be working side by side and have these people actually working under me and expect them to be competent in the job that they can do. For the record, this group of recruits stepped up to the many challenges they faced that day. It was a real test of their physical and mental abilities. Graduation day will see these young men and women take their places as professional and proud members of the Royal Australian Navy. That's due in no small part to those who guided them along the way. Social media is playing an increasingly important role in our lives today. Facebook in particular is a great way for people to keep in contact. Navy has even got its own Facebook page, but there are some risks. Lieutenant Commander Priya Chandra is Navy's webmaster. Hi, thanks Juan. We all know that sites like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Flickr are great ways to stay in touch with family and friends when you're both at home and away on deployment sharing links, photos and videos, and your stories. And certainly Navy encourages us to share those stories online as much as possible. However, as Juan mentioned, there are risks associated with sharing information on social media sites. Operational security violations, personal reputation, identity theft, and scams are just some of the ways you can be affected if you share too much on a social media site. We'll be looking at some of the ways to keep yourself safe online and today we'll be focusing on Facebook in particular, given it is the world's most popular social media and sharing site. 
Once you've logged into Facebook, what you need to do is customise your privacy settings. Facebook, by default, wants you to share everything with everybody as much as possible. However, that is not recommended practice. Once you've logged into Facebook, under your account drop-down, you have the option to change your privacy settings. As I've mentioned by default, this is set to everyone by Facebook. In order to change your, your settings, simply select the drop-down tab next to each item and select Only Friends. We recommend you go through and do this for everything that you share, as well as things that other people are sharing on your behalf. Things other people share is also important to look at. Again, check who can see things like photos and videos that you're tagged in. By selecting Friends Only, you allow people in your network to see photos that you've been tagged in. We recommend that you select Only Me. That way, friends and people in your network can't see those potentially embarrassing videos and images. Setting it to Only Friends is only as good as your friends network. If you have 5,000 people in your friends network, can you really guarantee that all these people need to know what you are doing at any one stage? No matter what privacy settings you have, operational security is vital. Do not post details of when your ship or unit or squadron is going, where they're going, how long they're going to be away for, or anything else that might cause people to aggregate information about what the Navy is currently doing anywhere in the world. If you want more information on how to keep secure on Facebook and other social media sites, check out the Navy's security tab on our Facebook page. And you don't have to be a member of Facebook to see it, you can just go to the Facebook page. We'll also be going into more detail in the next Scuttlebutt episode on how to keep safe in other social media sites. Take care, stay safe and we'll see you online.